Cargo Holding Limited. Personally, I've never seen a financial statement so dry yet. No picture, no nothing. You know, one of them just say so, you know information, and we're done straight to the point. Anyways, as if you're a YouTuber, I'll be breaking down Cargo Handlers Limited, how they make money, and of course how they're performing on the stock market. So if any of that interests you, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. We're almost at 2K, so definitely subscribe if you're not already. And with that said, let's begin. All right, so Cargo Holding Limited is a Jamaican company that is a subsidiary of a international company called SSL. Not the one where it just shut down, but Steve Doran Service Limited, which is also a subsidiary of another company. However, Cargo Handle Limited, as the name states, provides cargo handling services and other shipping related lines of products. The company offers a wide range of products. Some of them are container handling, Break bulk cargo handling, cargo storage, freight forwarding, custom clearance, and ground transportation. The company predominantly operates in the Montego Bay area and the customers range from shipping lines, you know, that mean like cruise ship and everything there, importers, exporters, and other like logistic companies. And you know, I literally just like said the name of the services that they offer. And if you're like me, like when you first read it, you never know what them services there be. So, other than customs, yeah, maybe that. But anyways, so I'm gonna give a brief definition of all of them, and then I hope that kind of helps you understand how they make money. Say, and I know I just mentioned like SSL, which is Steve Doring Service Limited. In my curious way, though, it literally does the same thing like what Cargo Holding does, just on a bigger scale. So they not only have like you know connections in Jamaica, they also have connections in Central America, South America, and like the whole Caribbean. Say, and of course, some of the products that they ship and them somewhere there is like oil agriculture produce gas mining like raw material and them somewhere there so yeah. and yeah they have ports like literally all over the caribbean some of the countries like trinidad and tobago suriname if you ever see suriname rice um panama dominican republic and like guyana now that we have come from the look of deviation i'm going to explain what cargo handlers like products and services like really do so i explain so the for container handling this service includes the loading and unloading of containers onto and off ships as well as stocking and storage of containers at the port so you know the mug have like equipment like forklift crane big truck reach stocker to, like make the whole process kind of you know more efficient the break bulk cargo handling now this is basically like the unloading and offloading of big things or big equipments that are not necessarily in a container so you know like cars and trucks and them things they're busting them something there whether they're on you know yeah. the cargo storage is as explained just storing like cargos and them something there so say you have agriculture produce and if you stay at a particular temperature then them have that if you just like things you just want just whole space like the car them for like a temporary period or for prolonged period they also facilitate that space and them someday so yeah all right so freight forwarding basically it means the transportation of like cargo or like cars and them somebody there across borders so it can be internal so say i move from kingston to saint elizabeth or somewhere else they facilitate that and they also do international so if you have something at jamaica you want to ship it out uh yeah they provide that logistics for you yeah and they work with a lot of like trucks and airplanes and them somebody there for like you know make the process efficient and I don't think we need to explain this. Customs, yes, customs, customs care, and they work with the government in order to ensure that customs are paid and customs are checked and charged. Yeah, I mean, I think we need to explain no more about that. That is literally why only I buy fifth lot things them really, because we see some nice things on the internet, but they know because we know so we've got pay half the price of pay fee. We know what I did. So everybody must know customs. Yeah. And the last thing, without exhausting the whole list anyways, is just ground transportation. I think this will be a subsection of freight forwarding. It's just really just moving cargo within the country. So, 
but you know in the event where them have like some really big stuff they'll you know how special equipment and them something there for transport them across country and so on and so forth as mentioned the main office is in uh Montego bay shopping center freeport so yeah and overall the company is a really simple company i guess them not really you know like the whole you know picture and them something there Overall, Cargo Handler Limited Services is just a comprehensive cargo handling service that provides you know, logistic assistance and help for you know, local persons. And as you know, I, they cooperate with different businesses, government for customs, and their customers you know, to provide, I guess, a simple and smooth sailing operation for them. So, yeah. Now to their acquisition, I think this is probably like legit the only thing we could find right now. The acquisition that happened in 2020 where they bought 10% of a company called Buying House Cement Limited. Yeah, so they spent $100 million on it to get 30% of the company. And this company only covers 10% of the local market because you know, Carib Cement dominates that industry as like you know the leading provider of cement and something there and cement is not the only thing they do they also do steel they also ship like what i'm calling with plyboard and something there so yeah and the thing is cargo handler limited they are specialized in like shipping you know cement and steel and something there in and around the country so yeah and funny enough this is just like a, a preview of the financial statement their 100 million dollars is spent in 2020 the latest quarter which would have been for 2023 it is now valued at 210 million dollars so that's like 110 percent roi in the span of about three years so not bad now i will leave the directors and him something there because it's not much we don't really know much about him either unless you do some really in-depth search but the one person which is like the ceo and also a director of the company which is mr anthony mark hart he has been with the company two years after his inception and has not stopped the company came in inception in 1981 and he has been with the company since 1983 However, that's not his only accolades. I am going to just read a little synopsis of his bio and then you can select the person that is running the company. So, Mr. Anthony Mark Hart co-founded Caribbean Producers Jamaica Limited in 1994 and has been the executive chairman since April 1994. He has been the CEO of Cargo Handler Limited since 1983 and served as its chairman. He began his career as a managing director of the Hearts Family Group of Companies in 1982, eventually becoming a chairman and CEO in 1997. He's the chairman of Montego Bay's Free Zone Company Limited and the Airport Authority of Jamaica. He has been an independent director of Kosha Group Jamaica Limited since the same day, which is 2016. And he's also a board member of the Norman Man International Airport. So he's a lot. Let me just read a lot of like a synopsis of his accolades. And he has been serving in Federal Mats. He's been 39.17 years. He's been with Cargo Handler Limited. Which is a lot. Which is a lot. Normally after this, I'll jump into the financials. However, somebody brought me up and said must talk a little bit about them dividends. Dividends is not great per se however it's a safe company as relates to how they structure their business models but you'll see in the financials why i'm say what is what but as it relates to their dividends cargo handler has a dividend policy of paying out approximately 50 percent of net earnings to shareholders this means on average they pay out half of all of them make for the year and the reason i'm saying is not much because their dividend payout as you come to the stock price was 2.58% in 2021 and in 2022 it was 3.3 .3. so yeah recently like in recent time you now they have been paying out twice per year they normally pay like the middle of the year and then at the end of the year and you can gauge it because their financial year starts january 1st and ends december 31st so you can like estimate so like june july them time there and then you know like december and you know yeah 
But yeah, so that was it. It's a really simple company. It's on the junior market. So it's a small company, however. So yeah, wasn't that much, you know. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> so we just jump to the financials. See if we can woo one of this up. And yes, it is a really decent company. So we'll jump to that. Alright, for me. So before we even start, I just want to point out the price movement for CHL because uh when I was in financials, I noticed that they had a stock split. However, before that, I'm going to put it up on the screen though. You can see that the stock traded up to ninety dollars, and and the IPO listing, the IPO listed the price at twelve dollars fifty, so all the way up to ninety dollars, and then them do a ten to one split and then i think it went down to like nine dollars and then after it went to nine dollars it traded up to relatively about the like anywhere between like 12 and 15 dollars for the past few years because that stock split had happened in 2016 october 2016 so 2017 18 19 20 21 22 23 so last seven years give or take so, yeah. Uh, this particular document, this was from, I think it was 2020, 2021, uh, report in the cargo recognized by JC winning slash best from company listed on June March. We are grateful for this prestige. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I was in there, um, 2021, uh, something. So basically from to 50 to 90 them cut back down no it, it's just been trading around that like 12 dollar 15 dollar range i know so yeah now for the financials me so personally i've never seen a company like the way how it's set up right you know like this structure the working capital is huge however there are some stuff so i'm going to be back and forth um with the sheet to explain some stuff revenue has consistently grown as you can see uh well 2020 it did fail but i would say the reason why it fell was because they spent 100 mil and buy something which i was stating so there's that but then 19 percent and 40 percent growth and in q1 it has been 14 percent so yeah, i think it's supposed to be three so basically no we're going to scroll down so standard like grow everything rate it that's fine revenues seem all right uh so right here so i'm going to show you, you know current asset current asset is like things we like things we expect for like get i like a return in one year or them supposed to like flip over time so investment in associates was as i mentioned the, the um the stake in the buying house cement which was in 2020 so you know that it worked at 2020 and if you check now up to the last part i was saying it literally gone up to 210 million dollars so good investment as i did say Another thing now is their current assets. So current assets, this was the long term. So their current asset, you know, is assets you expect say oh, like them they're supposed to get covered like within a year or it. Have you noticed? You notice how much is their total done current asset 173 mil, but their current is 300. Well, this was from 2019, but the 2021 is 500 and 75 for current and their long term is current like it so normally your current asset is smaller than your long term asset however this is not the case if you notice them just have a few receivables six receivables tax recovery and then you see this almost half a billion dollars in short term deposit you see me and then cash and cash equivalent anyway so short term deposit this particular figure this right here so so them have a short term deposit i looked at the financial statement i'm just sneak this particular 
I just take this particular to like show you. So this represents the deposit denominated in US dollars. Yeah, so them have a US short term deposit that going yield them 5% um, for the year and a JMB of it. So that's the way that big figure is. Also, late, what else did I highlight? Like? So as I say, look at your asset, the total asset is $884 million. Is me and their total liability is 95. So basically, their asset is basically 10 times the amount of liability they have. So it means a loaning company <laughs> can mess with the credit analysis and lending this semester. Mail them alone because, like, <laughs> it's not 10x, but I'll show you the ratios and then you can, like, decide from that. So that was really the crazy thing I wanted to point out. And like how the company structured based on the Dupont, the Dupont, they, they're not, they're not looking crazy, overly crazy. I guess they're getting incrementally, I guess a bit more efficient and the, le and the leverage mean like their debt is dipping. Yeah, the debt is dipping to like 2019 levels, but their like return on asset, return on sale profitability has been incrementally moving. So collectively, Everything they're doing is pushing for the better of them, basically. Uh, but that's really them now. No specific thing where I drive them. Just have a simple company and I work with it. I to work with them and to produce these numbers. All right. So back to where I said the dividends. Show you dividends. Dividend paid out, as I did say, is like about fifty percent. They were paying out. Up to you know the mom is up to 50 percent. Ah, uh, in 2019 they did pay almost 50 percent, but I guess COVID struck and you know them um, pay a lot based on their revenue. I guess maybe they were trying to pull them things like that probably up and down. But then like I guess after 2020, them say alright, you know, we take a little pause because them not pay this early so 2020 stop them pause. And them kind of start regress regress just to keep more cash and appeal less basically even though the revenue increasing or anything them just you know they want safe side and who can blame them so yeah as i was saying based on the ratios so liquidity ratios when if you want to screenshot this um you know liquidity ratios mean like as i was saying the current ratio is like 13 point odd is in 13 times inventory 12 times turnover like three times for the year based on what them have uh collection period like every quarter is what I say 50 56 days which is about two months so they have been efficient like if like we've chosen COVID them get more efficient with them collection period and everything down here so get better their gross profit has been incrementally increasing as you can see so gross profit and then even net profit has been even i guess more efficient <laughs> in the last year and then leverage has been still declining so yeah interest coverage ratio basically just means say oh, in the event say oh, them can pay out the principal um they can at least pay off the interest on the money and as i right now they can pay off the interest on the 98 times so <laughs> them said like you want them come there it was set financially them them now have no worry i worry more right now all right so let's go up on the sheets if we go through everything uh the board members mary Frey. Teresa Chin, then like ownership, how much percent them have in each of the company them. Uh financial director, nice stuff. Now like has she been keeping them on the straight and narrow. Uh yeah. This was also their audit financial as well. This will say we cover twenty two percent of them. Total assets. The 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 buy or them buy uh, the thirty percent in other host company this was the new strong rate and yeah so that is it for like those you know some snips relative valuation 
as you can see when i did the stock price check today it was at 13 dollars so relative valuation based on all of these metrics that is the service in the industry average for it or at least the fair value for it right now is um, 15 dollars and 30 cents basically which is funny enough it actually touched that in another week here you know so i'm kind of get a discount right now of 17 percent so okay not advised by the way so i'm not talking about advice about this uh yeah and as it relates to highlight just some stuff i was check industry average so past earning growth has been like the company has been 12 percent industry has been 2.6 percent uh yeah last year's growth company he they, they they have literally been killing it in the industry i can see 53 percent industry 47 rated pay return on equity has been decent so 34 percent you are take industry has been 11. i guess that's why we get the uh little award anyways all them financial score i short-term liability long-term liability dead level reducing debt, debt coverage interest coverage they have been killing it so you see basically when you look on this chart it shows you financial wise they are healthy healthy past them have good history of being healthy dividend has been said not so much value you know get much because it's been steady for like the past seven years and future well if past performance dictate future results then based on the growth trajectory that you know you will get much you know get much money maybe you know not for some different so there's that and return on asset the third person in this judgment 6.9 and last year was 28.6 and three years ago it was 22.9 so it's been you know steadily increasing as the dupont analysis says but you know dupont don't like <laughs> but so as we say just been steadily an increase and hey yeah, leverage up all so there's that so hope you enjoyed i uh, enjoyed this much like one for youtube algorithm subscribe to a friend and of course love you guys with the next one peace